Hi, my name is Dave from Sync Technologies, and we're going to talk about some of the most common problems that I've seen with Xbox 360s uh, walking in my door to be repaired. The most common one is the red ring of death, um, and that is just basically the Xbox overheating, and there is a fix for it. Um, some of the more bizarre things that I've seen, I have seen jelly in the the actual DVD tray. I have seen coffee and soda pop poured on them. I've seen lightning hits where it actually fries the board inside of the Xbox 360 along with the TV it was connected to. Um, where the dog or cat or somebody has rolled a chair over a cord for the controller, for a wired controller for the Xbox 360 and burn out the controller chips in the boards. And some of these are uncommon, but uh, it is odd stuff that I run into. Another really, really common one is the DVD drive going bad. And then somebody going and buying a DVD off of eBay and asking me to put it in. If I don't have the original DVD that came out of the Xbox, it is very hard to flash or make the Xbox see the new DVD drive. And you also have to get the same brand of DVD uh, just for the fact that the serial numbers have to match in the hard drives or CD-ROMs. You might want to see if your uh, local service center has actually worked with any of these errors, especially the Red Ring, and ask them what their success rate is. Um, we have a fairly high success rate uh, out of many, many, many Xboxes. I have three that I have not repaired. Uh, my background in electronics is over 20 years of experience in diagnosing and repairing electronics. So those are some of the things that you want to ask your local technician is how long they've been working on Xbox 360s. Uh, they have very specific errors that are not just related to electronics. If you don't know heat and thermal expansion and stuff like that, it tends to come back three, four weeks later with another red ring. Um, also age, uh, if you're looking for a service center and your technician that you're talking to is just out of high school, uh, you probably have a good idea he hasn't seen a whole lot. Um, and also ask them the types of repairs that they do. If they're mainly geared towards modification of the Xboxes, you really don't want them trying to fix your Xbox. They're just trying to make it do more things. Um, and a computer background definitely does help uh, when you're trying to find a local Xbox repair place.